Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see all of you here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for being here and for your enormous love and support. Thanks for all those views. Thank you for watching. In case you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, in case you haven't done that, what are you waiting for, guys? Smash that subscribe button now. Hit that subscribe button and please don't forget to press that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos. Prince Harry has been given special permission by the king to wear a military uniform when attending a vigil at his grandmother's coffin. The Duke of Sussex was stripped of his military titles after giving up life as a working royal and moving to the United States with his wife. Megan. He has been in civilian dress for official events, including when walking behind Queen Elizabeth's second coffin on Wednesday when it was carried to Westminster Hall for the lying in state. The Duke, who did two tours of duty in Afghanistan, will join his brother, the Prince of Wales, in wearing uniform in Westminster Hall on Saturday before the state funeral on Monday. According to the palace, Prince William will stand at the head of the coffin and Prince Harry at the foot during the 15-minute vigil, while William will be flanked by his cousins Zara Tyndall and Peter Phillips, the children of Princess Anne. Harry will be flanked by Princesses Beatrice and Eugene, the children of Prince Andrew. Lady Louise and Viscount Servin, the children of Prince Edward, will be at the middle of the coffin. Until tonight, Harry, who served in the army for 10 years, had not been allowed to wear his military garb during the official events. That includes a state funeral on Monday, as he is no longer a working royal. But the Duke of Sussex, finally wore a Blues and Royals number no. 1 uniform, KCVO Neck Order and Star, Afghanistan Operational Service Medal, Golden Diamond and Platinum, Jubilee Medals and Army Pilot Wings. William, who is now heir to the throne, was wearing the Blues and Royals No. Know 1 uniform, the Garter Sash, the Garter Star, Golden Diamond and Platinum, Jubilee Medals, and RAF pilot wings. The Duke of Sussex, who saw action on the front line during the two tours of duty in Afghanistan, has been in civilian dress for official events since the Queen's death on September 8th. And Harry and Meghan, who are based in California, were already in the UK as part of a trip to Europe when the late Queen died peacefully aged 96, at Balmoral on September 8th. The couple, who have faced tensions with the royals in recent years, have been staying at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor. So, what do you guys think about all of these news? Do you think that Megan will use this emotional timing for her own good to get in the spotlight again? Do you think there's even a small ray of light somewhere that Harry and Meghan could return as a royal with a new title and even a new position? Write it down in the comments section below and let me know what you think. I guess we'll just have to wait until then and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys. Hasta la vista.